Bachman Trains has introduced Emily, the beautiful emerald green engine as part of its Thomas and Friends series for large scale garden railroads. Inside the box you will find Emily, the emerald green engine, as well as a tender. There's also some additional hook and loop couplers inside as well. You can use these to adjust the height of the hook and loop coupler to work with non-Thomas products. Inside you will find some instructions on how to do that, exploded diagrams, as well as a warranty card and a coupon for a catalog. There is also a notice inside the box in regards to something that's different with Emily and that is there is a thermal circuit breaker inside the unit and if you use it in heavy grades or pull too much of a load that will trip and you'll have to let the unit sit for 10 to 20 minutes before you run it again. We like the idea that this protected for kids who might be running this. On the box, it's neat because you can see all the different things that you can add to your Thomas and Friends set, and it's really grown. The unit is just beautiful. I think that people who don't like Whimsical on their railroad just might buy one of these just to have one. She's large, looks great, and the detail and colors are exactly what you would expect from Emily because she's been on TV a lot and the kids and some adults will know exactly what to expect. There's a pilot wheel in front that's loose as well as a second wheel behind. There's the large distinctive wheel on Emily as well as a wheel in the back. Emily does not have a lot of detail but then the original Emily doesn't have a lot of detail either but the unit is properly marked with the proper colors and the detail of the lines and the paint, even including the smokestack, are just right. Like the other Thomas and Friends engines, we were impressed that smaller children will be able to pick these units up without having to worry about damaging or smaller pieces falling apart. The tender fits on just with a metal pole that goes into the hole and then of course the tender can just easily sit on the track. The tender looks great right behind Emily and if you take a good look at it you can see that they've added appropriate detail for the wheels. Now one of the things they've done here like they did with the Emily coaches is that if you take a look at the wheels on the bottom you'll see that the middle wheel does not have a flange and this allows the unit to go around tighter curves without the possibility of it derailing. There's not a lot of detail on the back of Emily or the front of the tender, but in real life there's not a lot of detail either. The coal load looks good from just about any angle, and the details that are added are nice because they won't break off being lifted by smaller hands. The Emily engine is impressive. It's large, it's detailed, and it's very colorful. If you're looking for a way to get kids interested in large scale, this would be one of the units that would really turn their heads. Let's take it for a test run inside our studio. As we do with a lot of the units, let's take this up to six volts and then to 12 volts and then higher.
We thought we would run it again, this time going very slow to see how it started, and then to see how well it ran going slow as it started to stop. And the part that you've been waiting for, let's take a look at Emily and her coaches. Some of you may not be aware, but the coaches have been available for a while. And if you click the link up above, you can watch a separate video all about the coaches. But we thought we'd give you a good look at Emily and her coaches behind her. We'll have some additional videos soon about Emily and James and Percy and Thomas all on the stage at one time as well as some additional video of Emily running outside with her coaches.